Okay, okay, we're back again. So, so yeah, let me check the mail real quick. We got from the museum. An amber, which I'm pretty sure I could just sell. Always, oh, I should show my progress on the... Oh, red. Crazy red here. I'm just writing to know that... Let you know that I'm crazy. Oh, and I'll be in your neighborhood on January 22nd at 6, 6 p.m. Get ready for insane deals. If you miss it, you miss out. I see you, Sagi. Okay, let me sell, throw away all this stuff. Nice paint. Yeah, indeed, Maroon. Oh, it's, I should pick up the fruits that just grew. There we go. And hello to everyone in the stream again. Welcome and enjoy the show. Yeah, it's snow as well. But I like my Nintendo parasol. See? All done. All right, welcome back. So, oh, oh, geez, cockroaches. Where? In my house. I accidentally set the date to like um to February instead of like days later. Of course, I actually got the N sixty four logo as well. What? Got the N sixty four logo. See. Then that explains why there's cockroaches, because you said it wrong. Yeah. Yeah, you have the 64 logo and the GameCube logo. Yeah, as my... Uh, mm -hmm. On the side of the entrance. I 
but anyway, as I was, as I started to say earlier, tech, as I was starting to say earlier about, about the Nintendo 64, technically it's not region locked, but you have to have the right tools. Oh, I see. Nothing too serious. It's just, I mean, I did it to my own Nintendo 64. Basically, I had to buy a special uh, hex uh, screwdriver bit. To let me open it. Oh, then I nice. took out the I could plastic, just set it then I took out, like the side where it's then I blue. took out that like middle plastic piece. Cause that's what's causing the So yeah, praise the heart and Jesus I got both of my favorite Nintendo consoles. Yeah. <sighs> Point is, if you open up a Nintendo 64 and then take those pla like that plastic tray out of it, it essentially makes it region free. Hmm. So I'm just I'm just looking for fossils I can get in every acre. What's up? And then you're hitting rocks. Nope, nope, nope. <laughs> yeah, I'm just trying to see the which one has like the gold ones. Yeah, which one's the money rock? Mm-hmm. We'll come back to them. Well, considering I'm looking for all the star shape areas. Oh hey. So, when do you get the golden rod? Wait, the golden fishing rod? Yeah. I think in order to get the golden fishing rod, you have to catch all of the fish in the game, but... I see. Because yeah, I just recently saw, like, uh, clips of someone speedrunning to get it. So it looks like we should meet the new neighbor in the in the village. Oh uh, yeah, but speaking of which, I actually the other day when I was at I pre-ordered the new Animal Crossing. Nice. Eek! What the Hey, don't startle me like that, Bow Wow. You almost gave me a heart attack. Maybe it's just me, but don't you think it's rude to start old lady before you've even met her? Bow wow. Or your manners. But I'm over it now. I had to catch my breath. My name is Daisy. Try to be a little bit calmer from now on. Talk to me in soft whispers. Good night. Okay. Bow wow. Okay, I'll be quiet. This will be an ASMR stream right now. <laughs> I can't even do it without laughing. Yeah, I know, Maroon. I usually check if they have papers I could pick up and send them to the museum. Yep, I'm right. You have to catch all the fish. Oh, okay. So, what about the shovel and axe? Ah. Uh... Let me take a look here. <laughs> ah. 
I guess in order to get a gold shovel, you have to bear. It says bury a shovel in a sparkling spot. A tree bearing a gold shovel will grow. Basic tree growing rules apply. Hmm. That doesn't sound too hard. There, Maroon. <laughs> That's nice. And then with the nut, it's the same thing, yeah. Hmm. Oh, where are all the star shape things? I haven't found one. Hey, watch it, Speedy. If I didn't have like lightning quick reflexes, I would have wailed into you. Say, huh? Craziness. Why well, it's Galwayno. Be more careful from now on, okay, cheapers? Anyway, what's up, cheapers? What's new? Guess what? When you take the train to another town, I might as well follow you. It's a free country, after all. If I feel like it, I might even move to a town you visit. Wouldn't that be wild? Because, like, I don't want to be stuck in the same town forever. That would be so super boring, right? I don't have any plans to move right now, but don't be surprised if I do, cheapers. Don't look all mopey, even if I do move. It's not like I'll forget you, Galeno. I mean, cheapers. Like, we'll still be able to talk whenever you c came to visit, cheapers. Oh, and to get the gold axe, you have to have a perfect town for 14 days straight. Jesus. I just did, Maroon. I'll keep that in mind then. I better get another shovel then. There we are. One fossil? There would usually be like five fossils, right, Usagi? Just yes. double. Oh, okay. Just double checking. He's got a gyroid. Oh right, the slingshot wasn't introduced until Wild World. Yeah, I th yeah, I could have sworn that was the case when I was younger. Uh, same thing with the uh, same thing with the watering can too, if I'm not mistaken. Hmm. 
Because I... Because that's why you have all the... That's why you have all the normally, um... Introduced in Wild World. Well, that was hidden well. Because the watering him wasn't introduced into the wild world, that's why you can, um... Yeah, like, I feel like I had to be lucky to see if the trees grew in the right place and whatnot. Yeah, that's why... That's why I kind of don't like playing anything older than New Leafs and because of the fact that it's almost impossible to get a perfect town. Hmm. Because you have to do it just right. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think my phone is fully charged by now. Hopefully it is. Yeah, I gotta find two more um, fossils at fossils. this. Yeah. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you. Nice, got it. Found it. And thanks, Maroon. Oh boy. Nine thousand. So just one ro like rock bell in the each day, right? Because I just found it. Yeah. There's yeah, only one rock has bells in it.
<laughs> Why am I singing the Jurassic Park theme? Don't ask me. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't want to be too quiet, so... Um, considering I'm playing some uh, Elder Scrolls Online... Hang on, I'm just searching, just turning on some music from Mary's spot. There we go. So yeah, now you can play- Dino's on the brain! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it looks like in Maroon. You have my ear, citizen. Okay, I really should not be starting the Oblivion quotes again. I think that was everything. Let's see how many do you have in your bag. I only have like three and four gyroids. Hmm. Yeah, because I didn't find anything on this corner. And yes, I'm playing as those lizard guys in Elder Scrolls Online, by the way. Actually, let me, at once I re-log back into Steam, I could send you um, how my character looks in a clear, in a more daylight shot. I mean, it doesn't matter either way, Usagi, considering I get the mail, like, three fossils each day as well. Yes. Mm hmm. Yeah. Can you feel the sunshine? Does it brighten up your day? <laughs> that was 
all you! <laughs> I do like this song, of course. It makes me want to survive the skies. Oh my god, hi? It's gonna be a brighter day. Can you feel the sunshine? Kids, is it brighten up your day? Reach to hear the sunshine. Just need to run away. Reach out for the sunshine. Forget about. Just think about the good times. <laughs> okay, I sure make the last one for the museum once I get more fossils. So yeah, just enjoy me fishing for fishies for the rest of the stream. Can you feel the sunshine? Does it brighten up your day? Don't you feel the sun time? And just need to run away. Reach out for the sunshine. Forget about the rain. Just think about the good times. I can't understand the last one. Can you feel it? Oh! Can you feel it? Oh! Can you feel it? Oh! Can you feel it? Can you feel the sunshine? Does it brighten up your day? Don't you feel the sun times and just to run away? Reach out for the sunshine, forget about the rain. Just think about the good times. And <laughs> oh my god, Usagi! Well, hey, you're the one who keeps saying <laughs> I mean, I love this song, you know? Even though I've never played Sonic Art, but I do want to. Can you feel the sunshine? Does it brighten up your day? Don't you feel the sun times? Just need to run away. Reach out for the sunshine. Forget about the rain. Just think about the good times. a fun one hey you were the one who sang along to the entire thing not me <laughs> I do love that song like I said
At least Maroon had a good time with that. Come on. What do we got? Oh, nice. A large bass. I guess I'll turn on something from... I'll turn on something myself. Oh, uh, this is like the 30 minute one. That's what usually came to mind with that Digimon boss battle theme, Usagi. more fishes I can catch. And I always use like the Sims 1 soundtrack when I don't have a playlist set for something like an MMO. So I know when I was trying to do those WoW streams, um, I know I was usually playing the Warcraft 2 music. sell these guys. Yeah, indeed. I think I used to use the soundtrack as well when I did like pixel art streaming as well. But yeah, as like I always say, The Sims... Oh, The Sims 1 is obviously dated gameplay wise. It does have like the best soundtrack out of all of them.
Oh, hey, I'm George leveled up. Sorry, I'm just setting up, like, the Sims-like soundtrack. Sims 1 soundtrack. I'm gonna play for Error Spot next. Okay, there we go. Okay, I could sell all of these to you as well. Might as well, right? Mm hmm. The Sims 2 as well. And like I said, we know Nightbot. Reminds me. Mm -hmm. I should probably check my own YouTube channel. Yeah, have you subbed to mine yet? No, but what I'm trying to say is I, I linked it to my Twitch, so I'm wondering if it autom if I have to actually manually uh if I have to manually um upload it to my YouTube channel oh, or not. Oh, you could just export it. That's what I do for mine. Well, that's what I'm saying. I it up, but I don't know if it automatically exported it or if I have. Oh, you just have to wait like but... when you upload it. Like, um, oh, geez, um, yeah, you just have to, you just have to wait till it uploads and processes as well. Well, like I said, let me see. <laughs> oh, pause. Oh, on. I should ch show you guys how the museum looks so far. Here we are so far. The Apatosaurus is done. The Mammoth is done. T-Rex is done. I started on the Stegosaurus. Nice. Enjoy the Sims 1 music, by the way, Rabby. How are you doing tonight as well? Yeah, I've pretty much gotten everything I can get for the winter as well. Just need to get like one of the goldfishes I could get during the afternoon.
had, meaning you got rid of it. What? Rev says, I'm good. Wow, I forgot all about the music in the original set. And I see the ROMs for when. Oh, you see, yeah, same, Rabby. But then Sims 2 came, came along and I just stopped. And then I just abandoned Sims 1 and played Sims 2 entirely as well. Ah. Uh. But I have to wait till it gets bigger as well. Because I don't think... I guess it could fit for the basement. I know that. But for now, I'm good on... Unless if I get my house to like the biggest maximum level. I could just get like... Then I could put one in. How much do the bitterling goes for? Go for Usagi. Bitterling? I don't think. It, I don't think it goes for too much. I think it might only go like maybe a thousand bells, if that. Oh, jeez. Again. Ooh, big one. But not a string fish, of course. When you export something, how long does it usually take? Like, I think... Usually, I have me six... Um... Oh! I usually have me six adding, letting people know when they upload it or not, but it does take like an hour or so, but not too long. Oh, because I just told it to export the video. <laughs> oh, okay. Hang on. Then probably once it's exported to YouTube, I'll probably delete it off of Twitch simply because otherwise it's not going to stay. <laughs> right. Yeah, since you just got back into streaming... Entertainer role, get Usagi. <laughs> oh well, of course the the iron is that my that I have a different you know YouTube channel name because I made it back when YouTube was like fresh meat. So like back in two thousand and six. Around in there, yes. Uh, mine was like two thousand and seven. That was a time to be alive as well. Oh, looks like my streams are, have been better now. notice I don't even have like that quality lock as well There you are. Maroon, all I could say is don't jinx it. 
Like I said to Usagi. I see. I do have. I do remember playing like the Sega Genesis tournament fighter of Power Rangers in. Yeah, back when, like in Venezuela, I think that was the first time I visited well, as well. The Sega CD was a bit too advanced for its. T a bit too advanced for its time. I mean, it only has a, a times one read speed. Isn't that like the wait? Isn't that like the one AVGN reviewed where it was just basically an episode of Power Rangers in a video game? There it goes. Thank God for that. Yeah, I've heard Snatcher is a popular one. Time to like deposit these fishes to Nookway. about that actually wasn't that some sort of mecha game like um oh god i can't even think of oh i just i know this game from software made it i'll look this up ah yeah armor core isn't that like similar to armor core Too long since I was really into, really interested in from software games. Oh, okay. We're still wearing ties. <laughs> oh my God! We thou shall not speak about that game. before I do actually stream and I have to turn on that please stand by logo and that what like in the beginning of the game no I don't think he did that I think he was talking she was talking about AVGN and isn't that like a 3DO game though I see. Nice koi.
<laughs> I see. I've only played like the Game Boy, Game Boy Color one. I was interested in like the 3D game on the N64. I wasn't. I didn't think it actually started like a 2D platformer like I thought with Rayman. Cause I was familiar with like the 3D Rayman game on the N64, the Dreamcast and all that stuff. Yeah, that. Rayman 2 The Great Escape. I do remember another one Ubisoft made on the N64, which was Tonic Trouble. I think I've almost beaten it, but I lost the data, save data. Oh yeah, I do, I've seen that. Really? Yeah, I've seen that before. Yeah, I still have my copy, Maroon. And I still think me and my sisters should do, um, like a co-op of Rampage World tour whenever Vika visits. Or he got dibs on Lizzie, of course, for obvious reasons. <laughs> yeah, even at like it as a kid, I seemed to play as a played as a lizard girl back in the day because I couldn't help but like her Godzilla looking design. Ah, I see. You know, the soundtrack is oddly fitting for Animal Crossing. Yeah, it's like usually the first track that plays when you boot up the game Rabby. Hey, you're awfully quiet right now, Usagi. Well, that's because I'm trying to do anything this time. I see. Oh! I just, I could never get into Sims on consoles. It's, it was always about PC, of course. But I do remember one thing when I was playing all these games my cousin had. I was mostly playing games like Diablo, Diablo and Warcraft 3 back in the day as well. Oh, well, of course, there was just Diablo 2 on the computer before then. And of course, I used to play the Daylights out of Sonic Adventure 2 on the Dreamcast. Yeah, 
and Marvel vs. Capcom 2. I usually played as a uh, Mingo, Mega Man, and BB Hood on in that game. I don't know if that was a good choice of teams, but I just liked them. How could you not like a psychotic little red riding hood? seen that review maroon it looks like the sim sound sims one sound soundtrack really gets you in the zone usagi I see. Well, at least AVGN helps with that. Me. I was doing like the code in Ikari Warriors. ABBA? Like ABBA? like the band ABBA. I'm more interested in like the kitty floor and wallpaper. You know, just to recreate my room in my older file. One more to catch. Yeah, that would have been nice for Ikari Warriors. But then again, this that was made by SNK, not Konami. Actually, let me check the what he has for sale for these. Old flooring. <laughs> Gold screen wall. Uh, looks like the typical Japanese stuff. Never mind. Playroom. <laughs> I'll take it. 
sell this stuff for now. Yeah, I've, I see. And yes, I do pronounce this like Ikari. my monthly drawing so how do you do like the mo monthly drawing stuff usagi monthly drawing yeah you know like the raffle stuff that nook has well i've never actually tried it i see Oh, God. Oh, I guess it's still processing it. Won't be too long, <laughs> though. No. So this is my place so far. Yeah, indeed, I've got both of them. All right, let me deposit all the, deposit this. Bells. Of course, I gotta save the Saturday one for Sunday if I do remember to get the turnips. But yeah, let me deposit this and call it call it a night. And congrats on leveling up, Rabby. <laughs> yep. You're welcome. Alright, that's it for tonight with Animal Crossing, you guys. So, yeah, Splatoon 2 on Saturday and Animal Crossing and Team Fortress 2 on Sunday. And, like I said, when I finish... Uh, forget what I said about just focusing on Team Fortress 2. After what I've played for today with Splatoon, I think I'll just keep on with the Splatoon and TF2 stuff going. And Animal Crossing for the weekends. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Take care.